Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So um, today I wanted to give you guys some tips on some great teethers or some teething medication because my daughter is currently at a very bad teething stage. She's getting her front two teeth, top two teeth in. And um, so I wanna share the tips that we have been using to kind of ease her pain. So let's talk about actual teethers. So here are some teethers that I bought and that she actually uses. These teethers Daddy. I bought. <laughs> these teethers I bought off of Amazon. They're Daddy. BPA free. They're more of a silicone. Bye -bye. They're more of a bye bye. They're more of a silicone feel. Daddy. So she loved them. These were actually the Daddy. very first. Daddy. Oh guys, I didn't introduce you. This this is the very first video where she's in it. Daddy. So this is my little baby Sanaya. <laughs> She is um, one on Friday, so these are such pivotal moments, you guys. <laughs> but, um, so these are the very first teethers that I bought her. I bought these when she was about four or five months, and, and she loved them because they're a rattle, too. So she liked um, playing with them and chewing on them as well. And these, I waited until she was a little older where, when her mouth would, you know, open a little wider. And so I will put these in the refrigerator and um, these will soothe her gums. She just started really using these. She didn't really use them when she was younger. And um, I do not put these in the freezer though because I don't want them to get too hard because I think this is actually water in here. I don't really know, but I don't want to try it out and put it in the freezer. And then it's way too hard for her. So I just put them in the freezer refrigerator and so I will alternate so I'll, once I take one from the refrigerator I'll um, put the other one back in so you have to remember to clean these often because um, they drop these everywhere so make sure you just clean them often so another really good thing to get are these pacifier clips they are silicone and BPA free and my daughter loves them she actually still sometimes kind of chews on them but I've had one from the very start when she started using a pacifier because I actually just used it as a clip and then she started chewing on it. So she'll chew on this little elephant and um, she also chews on the design things, whatever they are, but she chews on them. She likes a little silicone on there. She was chewing on these in about three or four months. So these are really good things to have around the house. I only have one and that was enough. So I'll let you decide how many you want to get. So next are these nibblers. So these are amazing. <laughs> Make sure you have at least one of these in your house at all times if you have a new little baby. So um, these are great. You pop the little top so you'll put the fruit in there and put it back on and then your kid just carries these and walks around the house with it and just <laughs> chews. They nibble on it. So this one is the newbie nibbler with the cup and um, I'll put an apple in here, a cold apple, and she chews on it. She goes to town. So she loves it. So make sure you have one of these. They're amazing. And um, you can actually put whatever fruit you want. I've put pears in here because it's amazing. Get one. Strawberries. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. <laughs> so another amazing teether is this finger toothbrush. So this one is the Summer Infant brand. I used it as a teether to massage her gums when she was um, very little. And so now she actually uses it and just chews, chews on it and kind of massages. Of course, I'm watching her as she does it because this could be a potential choking hazard. But this is amazing. When she was smaller, I would put my finger in here and I would brush as she bit down a little bit now she will do it on her own but i really suggest getting one of these it actually comes with its own case that looks like this and it has a little clip on the back so you can clip it to your diaper bag but this is the summer brand some of them actually come in your safety grooming kits so I know Safety First has one inside of their kit. So it's really a good thing to have for a teething baby. 
now let's talk about actual teething remedies, ointments, whatever you want to call it. So this one is a very good teething oil. It is the Well Mints Baby Tooth Oil. She loves it. Literally, once I put this on her mouth, she doesn't complain. And most of the time it gets her through the night. Now she's kind of struggling with her top two teeth and so those are very painful she's actually getting a third one coming in as well so those are pretty painful so she'll wake up in the middle of the night and if she does that then i'll go ahead and give her some motrin infant drops and so i'll give her the recommended dose that her pediatrician recommended and once i do that she sleep through the rest of the night <laughs> she's dozing off right now isn't it so cute <laughs> but I suggest everyone with a little baby get this Well Mints Baby Tooth Oil. It's an organic, all natural tooth oil. It literally has four organic ingredients. So that was perfect for me, that's all I needed. So another pain relief method that I use is this Highlands Baby Oral Pain Relief. So they have these little tiny tablets like this and they actually melt in your baby's mouth so these are really good too. I got these from Target and the only thing that I don't like is that you have to use them too often. So it is recommended that you use one tablet every 15 minutes for four doses and then once every hour after that. I feel like that's a little too much so um, I'll just use this every now and again but it's a all natural pain relief method that you can use for your baby. Okay guys, so the very last thing are Laffy Taffies. <laughs> we had Laffy Taffies around the house that she managed to get to and she chews on them. We do clean them off before with soap and water because you know they come from a manufacturing plant and we don't know what they touched before they touched her. So we'll wash them off and she will literally walk around the house chewing on these Laffy Taffies. So you just have to watch out for your little baby in case they open and your little baby is just chewing on sugar. <laughs> we don't want that. But she has not opened one yet. Our dogs have. <laughs> but she has not. So to this point it's been amazing she loves it so my final teething trick is a wet washcloth my daughter really could chew on this for hours as well um we have just put cold water on here or we've put it in the refrigerator not the freezer but the refrigerator and she would gnaw on this in the bathtub around the house this is also another method do it well guys, I have given you all of my teething tricks that have worked well for my daughter and I hope that you are able to use some of these tips and help your little baby as well. I am going to put her in her bed and call it a day. So if you have any other tips or comments, please comment below. Please like and subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time. Thanks guys.